So, after a lot of thinking, it uh, turns out that this is actually one of the dumbest ways that you can go through and actually set this up. Uh, I am here to tell you that there is a way much easier than all the garbage that I already had someplace else. So the main thing we were using here is time. And really, <laughs> that's kind of it. So <laughs> let's take a look at this expression. And, uh, you know, if we have a specific time that we want it to stop at, all we have to do now is t equal time to fix to this just means that it's going to take it to that second decimal point and uh, then we have a little conditional it says if t is less than 5.23 and if it is less than you use just t otherwise have it only show 523 so that is this guy right here and if i click off of this and we go to five seconds we get past 523 and there we go it only shows 523 pretty great and pretty simple uh, sorry that <laughs> you potentially watched the other video where I did a really dumb way of doing that uh, so yeah there you go that is a quick and dirty stopwatch timer now if you're still here and you're wondering what is this time thing that I keep talking about so time in the span of After Effects in terms of expressions uh, is actually the time on the full timeline. So currently you see it's 5.50 and uh, that's been rounded up to 5.51 here. But if I take everything away and I just put time in there, it's going to use that as the value. So you see 5.50, 5.05, repeating pretty much forever. And uh, that's not what we want. That's why we end up using the to fixed and to fixed really all of the After Effects scripting that you write is loosely based on JavaScript and to fixed is a function that just sets it to the last two decimal points. We really don't even need to have this variable t but it's just kind of easier to write if t is less than we could replace T with time down here and it'll probably do the same thing. Yep, that looks like it does the exact same thing. And so really that's just looking at that huge number that we saw when we actually looked at the full time of everything. It is less than 523 and now up here it is over 523 so it's still fine. But yeah, just a different way to write what I wrote previously, and this way you can actually set whatever you want. So when it's less than 5.23, it's going to show just the time. Otherwise, you can show whatever you want. So we could even put potato, and that's the value it's gonna use. Make sure if you are gonna use a string that you actually use uh, double quotes. Otherwise, it gives you an error like this. It says, I don't know. This project contains an expression error. So add that double quotation in, and there you go. So up until 5.23, it says the actual time, and now it says potato. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and until next time, I'm John Hartley.